Approximately 40 million Americans smoke cigarettes every single day. And approximately 16 million of those people have accumulated diseases from smoking. Smoking causes cancer, you get a stroke, diabetes, lung disease, and you can get COPD, which, is, which includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis. In this speech, I'm going to inform you about Proposition 56, which is the increase on taxes for cigarettes. I'm going to talk to you about three things. First, I'm going to talk to you about what's going to happen if it is passed and what when it happen. I'm going to talk to you about the, econ the economic impact it's going to have on us and the environmental impact that it has on our country and our world. So first, I'm going to talk about what's going to happen if it's passed. According to the Legislative Analysis Office, the revenue of the higher taxes the higher taxes are going to go to, are going to fund the low-income Californians for their health care. All the taxes are going to help health care, research, and law enforcement. And that's where all the money from the 50, 50 cent tax increase is going to go from all the thousands of people who smoke. The second thing I'm going to talk about is going to be the economic impact it has on us. According to Sarah Cliff, the editor of the Washington Post, she says that the CBO estimates that 4.3 percent of 18 to 24 year olds by the year 2021 are going to quit smoking because of the tax increase. And if you think about it, that age group is about the people in college. When you're in college, you don't have that much money because you have to work all the time, you have to go to school, you have to pay for living. So with that 50 percent tax increase, that's a lot of money once it adds up. If you're an avid smoker, you smoke a pack a day, that's a lot of money that's going to be coming out of your pocket. With that, health care is also going to go down because of the extra tax increase, and there's going to be less people accumulating all the diseases because they're not going to be smoking anymore, therefore, therefore they won't need all of the medical treatment. The third thing I'm going to talk about is the environmental impact that this proposition tax is going to have for us. According to You Can Quit Two in 2009, uh, it, it estimates that there's approximately 1.7 billion pounds of cigarette buds in our oceans, lakes, and on our beaches. Cigarette, um, cigarettes pollute our air, water, and our land, and with the buds on the floor, their dangerous chemicals seep out and get into the systems of our children. So if this proposition is passed, it's going to help s keep everybody safe and the animals in our world a much better place. But if it's not, everything is going to stay the same and it's going to be still dangerous. This proposition is also is going to be on e-cigarettes. So even people who do the e-cigarettes and smoke cigarettes are going to be affected by this. So in this speech, I told you about the, I told you about how what's going to happen if it is passed. If it's not passed, I told you about our, the economic, the economic impact is going to have on us and all the people who don't smoke as well with health care, and all the medical stuff. And then I told you about the impact it's going to have on our environment. With 40 million people smoking today, if this proposition is passed, that number will go down. So next month, go and vote for Proposition 56, the increase on taxes cigarettes.